YouTube, it is your girl Lizzie Love coming at you with another video. And today I have my sweet, loving, beautiful, I mean handsome slash annoying slash camera shy husband. Anyway, excuse the interruption. So it has been shoot. When was the last time I did a video? We are actually moving from Baltimore, Maryland to Houston, Texas. And yeah, you wanna say why we're moving? I mean, I don't know your reasons for moving, but the reasons I was, that I wanted to move is for a better job opportunity. My job let me relocate to Houston, so I wanna take advantage of that. This is this is like different for the both of us like you was you was a kid when you moved from hawaii to dc so right it's like not like seven. it's something that you, right you were a kid so it's not like something you remember like you've never moved out of state as an adult not uh i mean we lived in virginia to maryland but i mean, I mean like states that's, over now <laughs> that's no. like come on you don't have to put a one in front of the area code to go from virginia to maryland to dc right but I mean, as an adult, this is like your first move out of state, right? Right. Like, I've moved around as an adult, so, I mean, how how does it feel for you? Feels good. I feel like I should have done it a long time ago. Yeah. Don't want to, you know, live in the what-ifs anymore. I just want to old enough to make these type of decisions, so why not jump on it? True. So, I'm, I'm excited for it. And it's like, I'm ex I'm excited to, but again, it's like, I've moved around as an adult, so it's not like this is something new to me, like, moving out of the state, but it's just like, I've always been, like, on the East Coast, so, right. so this is, like, new for me, too, and then at the same time, when I moved around, like, we wasn't married, we hadn't even met each other yet, I ain't had no kids, so, of course, it was just easy for me to get up and go, and I was in that young, rebellious stage with my parents, so it's just like, now being a mother being a wife having that good relationship with my parents now able to mend those bonds it's like for me it's i'm not gonna cry because like i've been crying for so long excuse my hair i tried to put it out my face but yeah it's just it's gonna be an adjustment right it's gonna be an adjustment and i know i've said it in my past video before like i was saying that I feel like I'm leaving my support system, but like what Lisa says, you know, you will always be here for you, but your husband is your support system. Like you've, you've never given me, given me any reason to like be afraid, right. you know, like I'm not afraid because I'm thinking that, okay, you're going to do, it's just every, our relationship is going to get bad, but it's just like, we kind of work through our issues and our problems like we're not perfect but we worked through all of that before we even came to saying okay this is what we're gonna do right. so that's one thing uh make sure you and husband wife whoever you're with make sure you guys you know talk 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 communicate with your relationship because i mean if you don't if you have like weak communication then pretty much, you know, it's just going to fall apart. <laughs> it's just going to fall apart. So, again, it's something different. Something different for us to see. Something different for our kids to see. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful neighborhood that we're living in. You know, it's like, for me, I like the hustle and bustle of living in the city. Like, that's weird. I like the hustle and bustle of living in a city, but I've always said I want my kids to, to live in the suburbs. So, we have that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, we've been planning this. We've been planning this since what? December? I'll say a little bit before that. Like, we were talking about, we was going back and forth talking about it, but I don't think we, like, actually made it serious serious until it was official December but we were talking about it like 
I want to say the summer, close to the summer of last year. Yeah, we were talking about it over the summer and stuff. Pretty much after our lease was up last year in February, we was like, we want to do it. But it was just like, we wanted to buy at the time. Right. So the, the, we wanted to buy a house at the time. And that made sense. But now, since we've never been there before, our goal is to like rent for a year, right? See if we like it. And if we do like it, then we should, we're going to go through that process time. again. Right. So we will be renting. Um, yeah, we didn't really say, I didn't really say anything to anybody. Well, I said something to my parents first, but I really didn't like say anything to like my friends and like my other family members. I didn't say anything until like, what was it? I think I was on my name, Lisa. You start telling everybody. Yeah, well, no, I think it was like March when I started telling everyone. Before the kids got out of school, which was like March 12th, like early March is when I started telling people that this is what we were going to do. But, um, yeah, I didn't start telling like my friends and stuff until we got approved. Right, which was like May. Yeah, May. This in my face and it hurts. Yeah. No, because it's going to be like rubbing against my face. But yeah, so I didn't start telling my friends until he probably told his people a little bit earlier than I did. But me, I'm that type of person like I don't want to jinx something. So, cause we're my, the, we was working with a couple of agents, and the first agent like she was on board, but it's just like she ghosted, she ghosted us, us. <laughs> right? So I was starting to get discouraged with that. So because I was getting discouraged, I was just like, well, nah, I'm not going to tell anyone. I was like, I'm not going to tell anyone until. Number one, we got with a good agent. Number two, we knew exactly where we were going. Number three, uh, we got approved for it. And number four, we paid our deposit, like paid our first month's rent, the deposit, all of that. I That's when I was like, okay, then I'm gonna record a video now and say something. Um, got discouraged because like right before all of this pandemic happened, I had bought our tickets for us to go and our fly out date was what may the 11th may 12th yeah we were supposed to go on may 12th like go down there like i paid for the flight the hotel the rental car and everything we were supposed to go down there and we just kept going back and forth back and forth like okay because we kept getting the updates from the news and they were just like okay two weeks it should be fine a month it should be fine and i think once we hit like the end of april I'm trying to think the end of April or I can't remember how many days out that um, Orbit said I got until I canceled, but long story short, April, I was like, okay, this, this, this thing, it's not going nowhere. We still going to be under all of this self quarantine. And then my biggest fear was getting stuck in that state. Right. If we fly out there, I mean, I've never gone over there before, so I don't know if they was going to say, you know, all right, you over here now. You got to stay here for 14 days in self-quarantine. So I was just like, nah, it's, bad to, it's best to just just cancel the trip altogether. And thankfully, the agent that uh, he picked out, she said, you know, pretty much we could do everything electronically, which is what we did. Um, did our house tour through uh, FaceTime. So it showed us four houses. Yeah, she showed us some houses through FaceTime. She called us. We did the uh, did the look through at all of the houses. Um, we ended up with the house that I liked. Well, it was the original house that I said I liked that I wanted. She showed us another house, but I think once we said we wanted to uh, put in the application for that one, as soon as we put in the application for it, it was like um, under contract. So I was like, all right, you know, because she wasn't able to uh, she wasn't able to show us the house that I actually originally liked because someone was still living in it. So I got discouraged, but then he was just like, well, she could show us the house because we looked at the other houses on Friday and he was like, Saturday, well, she could just show us the house on Monday. So when she showed us the house on Monday, I was like, all right, I like it. You liked it. I mean, it's a nice little house. It fits our family perfectly. So she showed us that house. When was it? The next day or... 
that day we said we was gonna put in the application. Put an application that day, on Monday, that Monday. We put in that application that day. It was two applications we did, right? No, we pre-filled the application for the other house that we didn't get. And she just changed our information on that application. With the new address. The one okay. We and then we got approved for that house. The day, we, and it was so, this was so wild. The day that we was like, I was really getting depressed because it was like coming up on the day we were supposed to fly out. So I was like so upset. And I'm like, dad, babe, this would have been the day that we was going to fly to Houston. I don't feel like we're going to get this house. I was getting so discouraged. He was just like, he's so easy going. Go with the flow. I'm um, anxiety, fears, tears. But, um... Yeah, that day we were supposed to fly out that afternoon. She called us and said it was ours. <laughs> said the house was ours. We put down a, a security deposit. And it, that was that. Um, As far as, I mean, everything is different now. Like, if this whole pandemic didn't hit, then we probably would have still gone out and done it the traditional way but it's just like now we have like a new normal to get used to so i mean everything was done online thankfully like thank god technology has came as far as it's can but um yeah you you found the the houses on your website right yeah what was it it's called a uh, hair.com h-a-r.com shows you uh rentals and houses that you could buy so i just typed in houses that were a certain I wanted to be close to work that's what everybody was saying that if you want to live in Houston that you need to live close to work because of the traffic so I typed in my address for my job and put in that I wanted to live a certain amount of miles from my job and that's how I broke it down um, I looked at all the flood zones and make sure we weren't in any flood zones definitely looked at the flood zone so luckily we're not in a flood zone uh, also looked at the crime rate and I didn't see any crimes in that area for a couple miles. So that was also a plus. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. So I think we got a good one. We did get a good one, yes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's that. Uh, our house is pretty much on empty status because like we've moved you know but we've moved from place to place before but it's like we've always been like so close where we could move some stuff to the new house come back and get it so right now it's just like we're driving oh yeah <laughs> that's another thing <laughs> we are driving from baltimore maryland to houston texas um probably take like 21 they say it's gonna take 21 22 hours so of course we are going to like break that up because i meant we have kids and you know we're gonna have to do some potty breaks in between right. and definitely you know we're gonna try to do the bulk of the trip but uh of course we're gonna stop that night because i can't drive all night long me once it starts to get dark i'm just like i'm afraid to be on the road so no so we're gonna stop that night um as far as saving um how we did it like he always he's always been really good at saving money so that's a plus um again i'm a stay-at-home mom so i've been at home with the kids while they've been doing their distance learning but again he's always been really good with the saving so that helped us out a lot as well as that um that emergency was it an emergency payment stimulus. <laughs> okay the stimulus yeah we just we just put that in the savings account too. So with just throwing that in the savings account, what we already had in our savings and then, you know, he he makes it he makes a good amount of money. So it's just like even when we pay when we paid our deposits and stuff, we still we were nowhere near depleting our savings account. Like we was able to cuz we had to throw away all of our furniture, so cuz you can't take it with you. So like we were able to order our furniture uh, beds couch dining room table stuff like that um we were able to do that and still looking good yeah. still looking good even if we're not looking good we looking good to y'all but <laughs> we still looking good on that so um 
what I would advise anyone because I don't know if you would say the same thing, but I like to do everything advanced ahead of time. So I would say start saving once you get the idea that you want to move out of state. That's number one. Start putting back like what you would spend eating out, what you spent eating out or on a new outfit or like going to the club and stuff like that. Just put all of that back and you see a big difference. Yeah, you don't have to cut back a lot of stuff. I don't know. Like, like you said, I've always been a saver, so I guess my advice would just be, like you said, to cut out the stuff that's not a necessity, start saving up. Like, we haven't really been eating out. Like, we've been eating out more now because, like, we pretty much get rid of all of our pots and pans and stuff. And it was, like, no point in buying a whole bunch of food. So, yeah, we've been eating out a lot now, but we we calmed down. <laughs> like, this is how we used to be. Like now we Uber Eats. We used to Uber Eats almost all the time. Be like, damn, I'm I'm hungry. I want something sweet. But yeah, haven't done that. So, like, what amount would you tell somebody? Like, I probably say have at least two times the amount of rent. Well, to get approved for a lot of places, they say you have to make three times the rent. Oh, damn. So, I would say make sure you make that. So at least have double. Well, not double, but save at least three times the amount of rent. Well, it doesn't matter that. You got to think about how you're going to move down there. Are you throwing away everything and you're going to just take a plane? Are you going to take a moving truck? It's right. it's hard to say. You're going to have to find out. It's different what for works everyone. For, you. for us, we wanted to go the cheapest route we could, so we're taking a minivan. Yeah, we so. rented a minivan as well as we're going to drive our car. Um, we're going to drive the newer car. We sold the older car because again, it, it pretty much was taken away from us to find someone to ship it, ship the car and pay all of that money towards shipping the car. But we could have put that money towards like furniture or something like right now, because everybody's at home. So it's really you gonna be home for a while. You gonna be working from home. He works from home, so he's gonna be working from home for a while. So it's not like we have to have two cars right away going down there. Right. But yeah, I would say this: as soon as you get it in your idea, in your head, the idea that you want to move out of state, that's when you should like start putting that money back and getting it together, putting the plan together. Because he loves to do his research. He researches his research. So yeah that's that uh mm, anything else you gotta say you want to say about it no like i said it's gonna be our last night here in this house i'm looking forward to it looking forward to houston been ready so i'm, I'm not gonna say here. i've been ready but i i am excited to see something new see something different you know get everything together but that is that i am going to be i might vlog the trip down there because that's one thing that i like every time i looked at people's videos that were moving to houston i never really seen a lot of the videos with them like vlogging their trip down there right so like they said we're gonna move to houston next video it's like we're in houston we're and then they be in months. houston right <laughs> oh we've been here for everybody i've seen they be like they on they be like okay I'll, I'll get back to you and then the next video you see everyone that i see they be like two weeks later right. oh yeah i've been here for two weeks i'm like damn do it really take two weeks to get yourself together after moving but yep um it's a lot of people's channels that i've been watching uh what's the uh the the girl that sent you the sage what's what's their channel oh um black family we got a lot of information from them. A lot. Um, I've been talking to someone else named Sierra. She's helped a lot. Excuse my pretty, She's my pretty. with an X. Yeah. Yeah, um, that, I love her videos too. Excuse my pretty. And then like I follow her on Instagram. So it's just like she's good with like talking on Instagram and on uh what is it? On YouTube on her videos. Like she commented back to everybody with her videos. Right. So, yeah, but I am definitely going to try to vlog this process. Um, tomorrow, it is going to be super duper hectic. So, 
yeah, I don't think I'm gonna vlog the packing process. And then it's my son's birth, my oldest son's birthday tomorrow. So yeah, we're gonna make it do what it do. And thank you for watching. And we will be on our journey the next time you see us. So when I post this video, it's gonna be Monday. I don't think I'm gonna do a lot of editing to it. But yeah, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. All right, talk to you later. Bye.